Everybody loves a good drone, right? A good drone. Well, here's a drone from a Casso. So the guys at a Casso sent me out this, the A300. Looks tiny. Looks looks really small. Let's take a look at what's in the box and get some specifications and maybe even take it for a little flight. We'll see. All right guys, so first off, before we look at the actual drone, here it is here on the website. So this is on Amazon's Acaso A300 mini drone, 1080p HD, FPV, Wi-Fi, kids, beginners, adults, okay, whatever. Comes in around, and you can see that kind of all over the place, around that $71 mark. Uh, 1080p camera, optical altitude hold, and one key takeoff landing, that's kind of cool. 3D flip and one key returns. You see a lot of these micro drones doing that. Headless mode and trimming, easy to use. There, I like that part, easy to use. Scroll down, what else do we see? Uh, main functions, again, same thing, foldable, one key, altitude, nice. Control range, about 60 meters. With a remote, Wi-Fi, 35 meters. Okay, that's decent. I wouldn't want to go much further with probably something like this. All right, one key takeoff and landing real-time FPV, emergency landing. So when the drone encounters obstacles or emergency, press the emergency landing button. Okay, for three seconds, drone will come down. One key return, three speed modes. Item weight, 1.1 pounds. What's that in grams? I don't know. I brought up my little scale here. Hopefully you guys can see that. And we're gonna weigh it, because my I'd like to see if it falls underneath that 250 gram mark. Anyway, here we go, A300. It says age is 14 plus. Now be aware, if this is over the 250 grams, uh, we might be in a bit of a, you know, how do we fly this? Especially here in Canada, because anything over 250 grams really has to be registered. So we'll find that out. Okay, what do we have in here? Caution, shirt contact, made in China, all the good stuff. Let's open her up. Now, I opened it up last night because I wanted to make sure the battery was charged. So it's been charging all night. I just put it back in the box. So we get quick reference guide, which is excellent. Uh, it's going to tell us what it is, how to move around. Hopefully it has in here, yeah, flight control, transmitter instructions, how to install the battery. Uh, yep, good stuff. Oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Control by an app. So if you want to just use the app, you can. Here's the QR code to go get it for both uh, Android and for uh, iOS. So that's cool. I I'll probably download it just to see. This bag had a bunch of stuff in it, just so you know. It had these two things. So you get a little screwdriver, and this is for the extra set of props if you need to, because you break a prop because you flew it into something, happens. There's the little tiny charger, USB charger. Now the battery I took out, but normally the battery is in the helicopter. That's the battery right there. And you can see with the charger, that simply just plugs into that, plugs into your computer or whatever, and off you go. Controller-wise, let's see, that I haven't taken this part out, so this is first time. Controller wise is right here. I'm taking it, this pops up. Yep. If you want to get your phone in there, any triggers? Oh yeah, so you got a little video and photo. Yeah, that's all right. What does this side say? Stop. Oh, this is the press three seconds. I'll figure it out later. It's fine for now. Last but not least, I find this really funny because it's, it's so little. It seems so, look at this, this palms. Look how tiny this thing is. Let's, let's do, I'm gonna move this. Okay, we're gonna move this over. We're gonna bring this up here. Drone by itself. Hopefully you guys can see this. Drone by itself. And this is in, uh, we gotta move this to, to grams. Grams, perfect. Grams, starting off at zero. So, no battery. 82.7 grams. Okay, we gotta be under 250. I have a feeling we're gonna be way under 250. Here's the battery. Okay, slide that in, oops, slide that in the right way may help. There it is, battery, 114.1 grams. So we are able to fly this without having to register this anywhere. It is little wee tiny. I am now going to, I don't wanna take it off, I kinda of wanna take it off here. All right, I'm gonna take it off in the room. We're gonna pause this for a second and I'm gonna spin around and see what ha happens. Cause I don't wanna fly it into my camera. Okay, hold on. Okay guys, so we got the battery in, we got the app downloaded. We're gonna try it without the app first. We're just gonna fly it in the room. Here it is, unfolded. It is, it's it's tiny, right? It's little. 
What did I say? 100 and something grams? Come on now, there's nothing to that. What we're going to do is I'm going to read the instructions here. Insert battery, we're good. Press drone power switch long and turn on the remote control. Okay, well, we're going to find a place to put this. Where's the oh, power? Power's right on the top, just so you know. She's got something happening. Then turn on the remote control. All right. Remote control, of course. Let me guess. No batteries for the remote. All right, hold on, let me go get batteries. That's kind of important. All right, all this time prepping last night and didn't put any batteries in here. All right, so it takes three double A's. Luckily, I have double A's, so let's do that. Hopefully, they're not old and dead. I guess we'll find out. Something happened, I think. Turn on remote control, push the left rocker to the top and then to the lowest as below the indicator light on the drone will begin to flash up down oh oh yeah she's spinning take off option two i sense bad things push the up button well that's not bad actually she's good indoors she went straight up i'm a little surprised Look at that. Right? Well, it's got a bit of a hover. But she's pretty stable in the house. Right? Now, if I went down. Okay. So, let's go outside and play with this, I think. This could be cool. Okay, let's go. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see there's, the Casso puts out its own network. So there it is. And we are gonna try to connect to this app, which is over here somewhere. Each fun, sure. Calibrate, calibrating. Okay, look at the lights flashing on the drone. Cool. Start. Oh, you can do it right from the app then. All right, let's just see. So on, take off. Oh, and I can see what's on the screen. That's cool. You guys see that? Now the key is, oh see, now the controls are done. All right, so I'm using these. So there you go. Flying up there. Floats pretty good, actually. It's got a pretty good stable on it, so, but it's, right, it's not perfect. It's got a little bit of a wobble, but not bad. You can definitely see what it's seeing. Let's do a record here, shall we? I don't know if you can pivot the camera. I don't know. Let's, uh... So let's come forward. And we'll do a land. Let's take off. Hold on. Oh, it's landing. Let's just stop that. I think what happens is this doesn't move. You kind of just have to set it before you take off. Kind of know what you want to shoot. Let's uh, try that again, shall we? So up, recording. Take off. Like this. So if I went really high, there's a shot of the backyard. Oh, up high, All right? Give it a... It's not overly wide, but it's okay. All right, and land. The landing's actually, whoa, 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 whoa. You have to really get on that stick just in case. Come on. No, it's going the wrong way. Oh, that wind's fighting it. Wind's fighting it.
Okay, so just so you guys know, I think this is a great little fun drone to play around with. Not that it's going to compete with like the high-end drones by any means for something that you guys can play around in the house with, which is what this is really fun. Just again, don't go flying it like near your television and stuff because this is still with those blades spinning big enough for you to cause some damage. But if you want to, you know, fly it around in an open area in your house or if you have a garage or whatever, that's kind of cool. When I was outside, wind can really cause havoc on a drone this size, but it doesn't have like GPS in it. Just be aware of that. I ended up wanting to do some more flying outside with this but couldn't because today this is what happened yep winter came it seems hopefully it doesn't stick around for too long but because of that i couldn't get out and do any of this i do find that controlling it with the app not as simple as controlling it with the physical controller so just so you know and if something were to happen to the app and it were to crash in the middle of a flight, that's also a bit of a concern. Flying with this is probably best. This is the way I would like to fly it, especially in the house or anything, because you're, you're, you don't want that thing moving around a fair bit, and then all of a sudden your app goes and it decides, well, I'm just, later, I'd fly it with this. Anyways, it's a really fun, inexpensive little drone for you to have in the house, take with you, camping, whatever it is. Just be aware, it is small. That's a plus in regards to it's small, but also it's heavily influenced by wind. Link down below if you guys are interested. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, more stuff coming up. Later.